there's a very nice story about the, how God decided to give the, uh, to all the nations uh, land. Georgians, um, we are sitting at the table and drinking. And they were late. And when they came to God, okay, we are here, God said, so all the land has just uh, given out, so there are no land. So, and the uh, Georgians said that uh, we were drinking toast of you. And then God said that, okay, I have some land for me, I will give this land to you, Georgians. So it started in 89, there was a snowboard's crazy banana, which I saw first time, and then I decided I should try this. And that was the beginning of snowboarding for me, it probably for Georgia too. <laughs> After one year, it happens that the, some uh, uh, professional snowboarders, uh, he was the main one, was the great Kelly, came to Georgia. They made a the half pipe, uh, I remember that uh, the last uh, uh, trick they made, it was that they put the head of Gorbachev, Bush and Reagan on the top of the half pipe and the great Kelly just cut them <laughs> with his snowboard. <laughs> that was, okay, for Soviet time it was a little bit strange but it was very, very nice, very nice. So. What can I say about Georgia? We are the people who love the gas, who love the mountains. I'm very happy that the um, young people, they are a little bit better than we are now. They are very good skier snowboarders. So Gudaur is uh, full with the good, good uh, uh, profe profits. And the future of Gudaur is uh, in free riding. After skiing, snowboarding, Gudaur is the best place for after parties, after skis, having a great Georgian wine, great Georgian chacha, and just enjoy life after that.
there was a one story with the Swiss snowboarder who was in the avalanche. I dig him out and first uh, words he said it was first thing I was thinking when I was dying that it's very good to die in Georgia. Now everybody will say my toast. <laughs>